What's up guys, Zach here, and today's video is a full day of eating. Um, I'm currently cutting, so this will be my cutting diet. I don't want you guys to look at this and think that's exactly what you've got to do, because I've been cutting for a while now, I've said this before, my metabolism is adapted to low calories, so I need a lot less calories than I should. So realistically, it's not very healthy for me at the moment, because I'm only on about 1500. Um, it sucks. But it is what it is. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that I'm on more. Um, but just know that. So do as I say, not as I do. Um, just uh, hopefully you'll pick up some like cooking tips and techniques and different food ideas and you know to change it up a bit for you. So um, yeah, I basically have fasted today. It's currently 20 past 11. I've been fasting, haven't had brekkie yet. I'm going to go train now. So I'll start with my pre-workout meal. So let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, we've got some rice cooking. So we're gonna make some chicken and rice. Um, I like to use jasmine rice, just a bit fluffier. Um, always prefer white over brown, personal preference. And I add a bit of coconut milk too. So it's, there's only 2% fat, so it's not too much, but I add about 100 mil per serve, and it just makes it a lot fluffier and tastes so much better. So we're doing 100 grams, which is about half a cup. And that's one serve. So I'm going to make two serves, one for today and one for tomorrow. I just put in 200 grams of rice. So I'm going to put in 600 ml of water. And basically that just volumizes the whole meal. And then I put in about yeah, 200 ml of the coconut milk, because that's two serves. And you just cook that down. So we'll let that cook. I much prefer making my own rice than buying the packet ones. Um, because if you get like a packet rice, you might get 40 grams of carbs in it and it's only, you know, 150 grams of cooked rice. Whereas I'll turn 100 grams uncooked into about half a kilo. Because if I just keep adding water as I go. So what you can do is you can, as it cooks, you can add a bit more water, stir it through, keep it cooking and just keep doing that. It'll go pretty like um, fluffy and maybe soggy, but it depends how you like it. So I'll cook it till it's pretty fluffy, just so it makes a bit more rice. Equals more food. And yeah, I'm starving at the moment, so <laughs> it's gotta be done. Okay, so we'll let that cook. Um, in the meantime, we'll get some chicken out. So every day for lunch, I'll always have a big more power foods meal. Even if I don't use the carbs in there, I'll um, just take out the chicken and take out the greens. So yeah, very easy option guys, like core power foods meal. This is just Portuguese chicken with sweet potato and green beans. So I'm already making my carbs from the rice, so I won't need the carbs, but um, I'll definitely use the chicken and use the beans. So you just microwave them for about five minutes and it'll save me having to cook chicken. <clears throat> I'll cook some tonight for dinner, um, but usually I bake all my chicken anyway. So, but for now, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna stick this in the microwave, so give me five. So yeah, the meal will have about 40 grams of protein from the chicken, um, about 80 grams of carbs from the rice, and I like to get the majority of my carbs in pre-workout, just to make sure my muscles are fueled, um, like get enough pump, and even mentally, sometimes you feel like you're flat if you're having no carbs. So I'll get a big carb hit before the session, and then the rest of the carbs after, post-workout. And so while that's waiting, we can't forget about the necessary before bed snack, sugar-free jelly. So in this, there is three grams of protein. So literally, that's all it is. <laughs> it's three grams of protein, and you mix 250 ml boiling water with the jelly, and then fill the rest up with cold, so another 250 ml. And I chuck in some frozen berries and stuff like that. So add the boiling water, and you add the rest cold. Chuck in some berries. And that's good to go straight in the fridge for about five hours. So I'm gonna let that jelly fucking set. And then later tonight when I'm feeling peckish, I will thank myself. So I basically do that every day, every, day, every second day, when I remember. Um, it's always good to have it in the fridge if you want something sweet. It's, there's next to no calories, so it may as well. So the meal's just 
finished in the microwave. Um, let's take a look. So yeah, pretty decent stuff. We've got chicken, green beans, and sweet potato. Like I said, I've already got my carbs from rice, so I won't be needing the sweet potato. This is the only bad thing about cooking with a lot of water, is that sometimes a rice cooker decides to do this shit. Stop spitting at me! It's like a camel that cooks rice. Or is it llamas that spit? I don't know. Clean yourself up, you filthy rice cooker. Yeah, look, I probably put too much water in this one. Usually I cook more rice at one time, so it mustn't be taking it all in. Okay, so the rice cooker just went off now. I'm gonna portion it out. Hopefully it should be about between four and 500 grams per serve. Check that fluffiness. That's what we want. So much better than just the quick cups. So much better. So that is, a, that is a fair bit of rice from only 100 grams uncooked. There you have it. We've got chicken, greens, rice. Couple things I'll do now. One, salt and pepper. Especially if it's a pre-workout meal, um, salt gives you great pumps. So don't be afraid of salt. Pepper tastes good. <laughs> I don't know what to say for it. So yeah, there's one sauce I'll sometimes add, and that's the roasted sesame by Koopy. So, it hasn't got the best macros. It's mainly just fats. It's seven grams of fats per serve with three carbs, but it just tastes so good. So I'll chuck about 20 mil of that on. Alrighty guys, so there we have it. This is the pre-workout meal. I'm gonna quickly smash this, and then straight off the gym. Train some arms. Let's get it. So this is my pre-workout stack. We've got creatine. Uh, I take it pre, but you can take it post. It's, it's really up to you. Um, creatine fills the muscle cell with water, so you're a lot stronger. You have more um, endurance, like during your set. But basically, if you have it pre-workout, I feel like it helps with pump. If you have it post-workout, apparently it's better absorbed, so really it's a win-win. I often tell people just have five pre, five post. Um, I'll then add a scoop of PSI, which is a citrulline-based nitric oxide booster, so it's pump. So it really helps with getting um, and holding good pumps. Non-stimulant, so you won't really feel the effects. It's kind of just um, improving blood flow. And then we've got RP Max, which is the stimulant-based pre-workout. So really good energy off this. You get the face tingles where, not so much like you want to rip your skin off, but it's like, it's just enough to get you pumped up um, and yeah really good energy good mental focus and what I like about it is it's not too crazy it doesn't leave you scattered or feeling weird you don't get a crash um, that's why I really like it because in the past when I've tried different pre-workouts some of them just mess me up and then I'm dead for the rest of the day and it just sucks so I really like that clean energy so we'll go a scoop of each and we'll get the show on the road so just the one scoop for today actually no one and a bit. It's gonna be an extra massive arms workout, so being prepared. One heap scoop of that. Now we are destined for a pump of the gods today. Where's my lid? Tastes good, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we're back at the house. Finish the gym search, train some arms. Um, this is Mitch. Oh! <laughs> and, it's, and it's gone. So this is Mitch, uh, for those who don't know. Um, yours? He's a rather large yeah. human. And we're about to do some cardio. So, before I go catabolic, I'll have a scoop of this in some water and sip on that as we go. And then we'll come back for a post-workout meal, technically. And we're fucking massive. <laughs> Just, Just like, like that. that. <laughs> Alrighty. So we'll see you guys soon for meal two. So technically this is post-workout meal. Um, it's only meal two, but I haven't had any carbs other than meal one. So what we're doing is 50 grams of oats, 
if you've already subscribed to my channel, you know that I love my oats and basically make them the same every time. Um, and we've got a scoop of isopet, banana, 10 grams of honey, and we've got some coconut and some nuts, and the berries. So I'll whip this up, and then this will be meal two out of four. So we've got 50 grams of oats, microwave for two minutes. Um, I'm putting honey in today, but sometimes I'll just use sugar-free maple. But treat yourself. So 10 grams of honey. <laughs> I actually nailed it, that's 10 on the dot. We go about roughly, oh what's that, 60 grams of berries. And I'll microwave this for another minute. So we've got a scoop of isopeps, which is just a lean protein, isolate, hydrolyzed as well. So it's 25 protein, yeah, zero carbs, zero sugars. I think it's basically no fat. Yeah, zero fat, so very lean. Tastes sick. Another key ingredient is cinnamon. Um, tastes sick, but also it improves your insulin sensitivity. So it helps your body process and utilize carbs. Um, so if you want to have that with carb meals, it's great with a sweet potato. Um, perfect on oats. You can basically, basically put it with anything. And then we've just got the coconut and mixed nuts, just for some flavor and good source of fats. And then we have it, guys. This is post-workout meal. Should be about 50 grams of carbs and about 30 protein. Probably 10 fats, I'd say. So going to the next meal, we've got basically a big, like raw salad bowl. Um, we use celery, zucchini, cucumbers or baby cucumbers, um, and red cabbage, which I'll get. And then on the side, I'll just have some turkey strips. So basically like chicken, it's as lean as chicken. Um, Bit different, change it up. Um, I'm gonna marinate that in some sugar-free maple because it's the best on everything, and some whole grain mustard. Let's get chopping. So basically, you go, I reckon, 100 to 150 grams per vegetable, but it doesn't really matter. It's kind of just in, as much as you like to, to fill yourself up. So it's a really good, um, it's a really good meal for when you just have no calories left basically. It's a lot of fiber and it keeps you pretty full. There's a lot of volume to it. So just dice it all up, put it in the bowl and we'll stir through some apple cider vinegar and some hot sauce. And zucchini is actually all right to eat raw. <clears throat> Tastes pretty good. But I always thought you had to cook it, but nah. And on the veg, we put some chipotle hot sauce, which is basically zero calories, and apple cider vinegar. So it tastes pretty good, and salt and pepper as well. Um, apple cider vinegar is a good fat burner, um, and it's really good for alkalizing your body as well, so it's pretty healthy. We've got some turkey here, basically as lean as chicken. And we're gonna put some whole grain mustard, and maple syrup, sugar free that is, and salt and pepper and we'll bake that in the oven as well. I'm not a huge fan of just touching the raw meat. It weirds me out. So it's kind of like a, a sweet a marinade, if you like, that doesn't contain the, the sugars and carbs. Very lean. I find it easiest to oven bake all my meats and that way you can just set a timer um, and you'll figure out how long it takes. So we'll chuck this in the oven. Should bake it for about 15 minutes and then we'll check it. It still needs a bit more, put it back in. And again for the veggies, apple cider vinegar. The hot sauce. And salt and pepper. So this is pure veg. 
if you're feeling peckish and you're on poverty calories, really good option. It weighs probably 500 grams. I just added some sugar-free maple to it to try, and it is the best. It's really? Literally, yep, it backs my statement. Sugar-free maple makes life better. That's got a hot sauce, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, sugar-free maple. Is that right? In a bunch of fucking chopped up veggies, and it tastes sick. Turkey is cooked. Forty-six. Better repackage this turkey. Save that bitch for tomorrow. And this is meal three. It's basically dinner. We've got the veggies, diced up raw and 150 grams of cooked turkey. Heaven. You just smash this down. And then next meal is eggs and then jelly. And the crispy chicken. So check this guys. This is a really easy way of cooking chicken too. Fajita, and what have you got there? Crispy chicken. Crispy chicken. Yeah. And it tastes so good. Oh, look at you just, <laughs> just drive up in the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pig. You're a pig. <laughs> oh, Royal Stacks plug. From Bang. When did the 10 cheeseburgers. Heaven. Oh, you just manhandled that chicken. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> just calm yourself, mate. No, nah, but other than that, <laughs> it's a very easy way of cooking it, and you just Chuck it either straight in the pan <laughs> or bake it. Sugar in. Or under. All right, guys. So last meal of the day is scrambled eggs. So we've got three whole eggs and two egg whites. Um, and I reckon I'm gonna cook them in a little bit of butter. Tastes good. Just grab it. I'm just gonna scramble this. Three eggs, two egg whites, just salt and pepper, and cooked in a little bit of butter. So this is absolutely delicious. Last basically meal of the day. Um, and I'll have this and then I'll have my jelly. So I'll show you that. So this will be for later. Later in the night if I'm pretty hungry, I've always got a bit of jelly in the fridge. But for now, eggs will do. It's not a typical day of eating in that I eat the same thing every day because this is pretty different. Like I didn't have eggs last night. Um, it depends on my schedule, depends on what I'm doing for that day, what time I'm training. But generally the same principles apply. I'll have my carbs pre and post workout. Um, I'll try to have three bigger meals so it feels like I'm eating more. Um, I might do a bit of fasting in the morning. Um, I, tend, like, I tend to do those kind of things every day, but I might eat different foods. So I encourage you guys to do the same thing, is to change it up with your diet, eat different foods, fit the ones in that you enjoy. Um, and if you you know like eating certain foods, you can just fit them in at the end of the day or whenever you really like. So help keep you accountable, help keep dieting easier, um, and trick your brain into thinking you're not on poverty calories. So I'm gonna smash these eggs, then I'm gonna smash that jelly, and we'll catch you later.